Hello, everyone. Uh, we have 2 o'clock here, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'd like to thank you for joining us this afternoon as we kick off our July Smart Solutions session. I'm your host today, Karen Kurtzweil, and I welcome you to contact myself or Janet after the webinar um, if you're interested in additional information on our products, white papers, or future webinars. Today's webinar is going to be a quick half hour. We will follow this one up with an, uh, an overview with a detailed demo next Wednesday, July 16th at 2 p.m. We have muted all the participants, but we're also asking you to put your line on mute since headphones and other devices sometimes still cause static. We've activated the chat, so feel free to ask questions, and we'll try to address those if there is time at the end of the presentation or during the demo next Wednesday. We will have this presentation recorded and available for you afterwards. Our speaker today is Janet Dorncott. Janet has over 20 years of experience in information technology and CPG. She is the founder and co-owner of Relational Solutions, and they have been implementing business intelligence solutions since 1996. Janet has been published in many articles and is a contributing author in books called The Essentials of Shopper Technology and New Directions in Shopper Technology. She is also a member of Retail Wire's Brain Trust and founder of the Demand Signal Repository Institute on LinkedIn. And with that, I'll turn it over to Janet to explain our smart solutions. Janet, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Karen. Today, I'll give you a quick background on relational solutions and overview of our smart solutions. Our smart solutions incorporates a robust architecture that supports many departments within a CPG company. Uh, smart solutions includes our POS smart and trade smart solutions, but depending on the data your company wants to integrate, it supports many users throughout the organization. The user interface to our application is called Blue Sky, and we have various versions of Blue Sky depending on your role within the company, and I'll explain those shortly. We also have an interface called Promo Pro, which is specifically related to the Trade Smart solution. So just a little background. Relational Solutions has been in business, as Karen mentioned, since 1996. And our background is in data warehousing and business intelligence. Over the years, we've built business intelligence applications across all industries, and then began focusing on consumer goods manufacturers about 15 years ago. And around that same time, we started developing our POS smart data model, and that's because we kept running into the same issues related to POS data and syndicated data every time we went into a CPG manufacturer. Uh, things like calendars not aligning and hierarchies not aligning, with different retailers using different terminology and so forth. So we designed our data model initially, and um, it was designed in such a way that it would grow and change with the business needs of any company. Um, the, you know, or if the and not only if the company changed, but if the industry itself changed, or obviously your users change and require different information all the time. So our background in data warehousing led us to develop this very flexible architecture because we know that once users start getting information, they want to see more insights, and that typically requires us to bring in new data. So our knowledge in data warehousing really helped us develop this open architecture that a company can, can constantly be growing into. So this is not a reporting tool that just offers reports from a single source that you'll eventually grow out of. This is truly an architecture that's designed for companies to grow into. Um, you start out small with a couple of retailers. That would be pretty typical for our customers. And then expand it based on the user's needs and your budget. So over the years, we've been recognized for our industry expertise as well as our technology expertise. Um, way back in 99, we were named the Data Warehouse Institute Data Warehouse um, Data Warehouse Implementation of the Year for, for an implementation we did at Timken Industries. We were also named by Oracle. We were on the cover of Oracle's uh, magazine for being Oracle's top developers of the year. One of the consumer goods um, a few years back, about eight years back, named us one of the top ten companies on the move in the CPG space. And over the years, we've consistently won the Consumer Goods Technology Reader's Choice Award, which is a, a very um, sought-after award because it's actually given by the consumer goods manufacturers. Um, also, a few years ago, IBM selected our technology to embed in their Smarter Commerce. So when they're out there positioning Smarter Commerce, it actually has our POS Smart 
uh, integration engine built in. And Infosys also embeds our application in their Trade Edge application, which is out in Bangladesh, and they use it to integrate uh, U.S. retailers with their emerging market data. Most recently, SAP has selected our uh, solutions to do all of their POS cleansing and validation to support their HANA application. So when you when you're working with SAP, if you know for those companies that are SAP shops and are going with HANA and they may want to integrate their POS data, SAP uh, brings us in to do that for them. So they use it, and most recently, in terms of our history, we've been named. Uh, one of the finalists in the OSU's best software category, and just last month we were named one of the most promising big data companies by CIO Magazine. So you can feel confident in knowing that you're working with a highly experienced group of cons consultants with, with a very sound solution. So our customer implementations range in size from multi-billion dollar companies to small companies that utilize our solution. Uh, we have both a solution that can be installed behind your firewall as well as our hosted model. And you'll notice that these are not just companies who sell through drugstores. We integrate any data and any POS data source. So whether your POS comes from grocery or drugstores or mass retailers or specialty stores or department stores or convenience stores, we can integrate it. We also integrate POS coming from third parties like Nielsen and IRI and Market6 and many others, or even your brokers or um, uh, distributors too. In addition to our CPG customers, we also have companies in other industries who use our data integration and business intelligence tools, but our focus is really on the CPG industry. It's just that our integration engine is very solid, and we have companies, for example, Aetna is one example of a company that's using our data integration engine that's outside of CPG. So our smart solution architecture, we've recently uh, coined this, this name Smart Solution because it includes our Blue Sky Integration Studio, which you'll commonly hear us refer to as BIS, B-I-S, so you see it in the acronyms there, as well as our underlying data model. And Blue Sky Integration Studio is really the core of the application. It acts as a hub as well as a cleansing and validation tool to integrate new data. This is a very robust and powerful data integration engine with a GUI interface that also is self-documenting. And that may not seem important to business users, but IT loves this component of our smart solution. Um, this not only brings together data from all the various sources, but it also has pre-designed mappings for the retailers and data providers. In addition, it has cleansing and validation routines, as well as customizable business rules with the ability to create new rules based on your company's requirements. The data model is also a very critical part of our solution. There, this is where um, the staging area is, where we cross-reference your data with the retailer data. We also align hierarchies and allow users to create their own hierarchies if they want. The next phase of the data model is where we store history and put the data into an easy-to-use format for the business users. And the data model also incorporates retail calendars as well as your own internal calendar. This allows you to report, again, to your internal management based on their internal calendar using your internal terminology, but it also gives the category management teams and trade teams and supply chain and sales teams the ability to report back to retailers based on their terms and their calendars. So POS Smart leverages the architecture of the Smart um, Solution architecture and shows companies what they're selling, where they're selling, where they're out of stocks, uh, things like zero scan, phantom inventory, and much more. Um, we'll get into that in a little more detail. But the user interface is called Blue Sky. And not only does it present reports back to the end user, but it also gives power users the ability to create new reports and even pull in data from other sources. Control Center is a customizable editing tool. And depending on if your company wants to edit data or not, you may or may not use that. But um, TradeSmart then leverages also the data from our smart solution architecture. And it presents reports um, back that will show how your promotions are actually performing. It presents them back to the trade team. So since most POS data is updated daily, TradeSmart users can see how promotions are performing during the promotion and actually make changes while promotions are in flight. It also leverages shipment data and cost of goods sold to provide an accurate ROI to both the internal company as well as to the retailer. And this is very important during joint business planning sessions or JVPS, which are becoming increasingly more important. Um, in addition, it uses the same interface 
called Blue Sky to do the reporting, but it also offers a second, um, a second um, component, which is optional. It's called our Promo Pro. And Promo Pro leverages that data from TradeSmart. And um, with Promo Pro, users can fine-tune trade events by aligning spend with actual consumption. And again, we'll get into more detail on those in, in just a minute here. And then, of course, even more next Wednesday. So first, POS Smart. POS Smart is an enterprise demand signal repository solution. It's important to note that we actually coined the phrase enterprise demand signal repository. And I emphasize en enterprise because there are a lot of solutions that claim to be demand signal repositories or DSRs. And that's because the people who originally coined the DSR terminology had zero knowledge of architectures from an IT perspective. So what they saw were reports with point of sale data, and if you were showing reports with point of sale data, they automatically bundled you into this DSR group. Well, they're very, very different, and that's why we coined the phrase enterprise DSR or demand signal repository. And we coined that term because the architecture is extremely important, and we are architecture people. We use, uh, we could see the difference between tools and, and you know, tools that just provided reports for retail buyers that they may need to see on their Monday morning reports versus solutions that, um, like our POS Mart solution, that was designed from the ground up to leverage POS across your corporation. So POS Mart leverages the smart solution and data model design, and that's what makes it enterprise. We can continue to add other applications like we did with TradeSmart, and companies can also leverage that data to feed into other systems or applications that could also benefit from using clean POS data. So applications including forecasting applications, trade promotion management applications, supply chain management tools, and so on. Um, our smart solution hub and source or can source or target any data source. POS Smart automates the integration and cleansing of point of sale data. So think about it. POS data comes in the form of EDI files, Nielsen files retail solutions, IRI data, text files, FTPs. It can also come from the retailer portal, portals like uh, Retail Link or Partners Online and so forth. Those are all different data types. And PLS Smart has the ability to transform all those data types into a single data type while maintaining data quality. It harmonizes all those various sources and even harmonizes it with your internal data sources like shipments that could be in Microsoft or, say, budgets that might be in an Oracle database or product groupings that you might have in Excel or Access, POS Mart harmonizes all those data sources. From there, it's also cleansed and validated um, things that are, you know, we can do things like eliminate duplicate data or recognize the difference between good duplicates and bad duplicates. We can also tackle the UPC issues that are common among uh, CPG companies. Along with the harmonization of different data sources and cleansing of the data, it also handles hierarchies and even lets users create their own hierarchies. It applies retail calendars to support reporting back to the retailers based on their term or their, you know, and their calendars. Uh, we can align the data based on the retailer geographies and in, based on your own internal geographies and even down to the sales rep, for example. Our report matrix then applies new measures to basic information. So some retailers provide more data than others. Walmart, for example, provides a vast amount of information, where someone like Dollar General is not so much. Um, we developed our report matrix to give those other retail teams insight similar to what the Walmart team might see. So we'll go over the report matrix in, in more depth next week in the demo Wednesday. POS Mart also leverages POS so you can see actual sales. But you can also align that data with shipments and budgets and forecasts and geographies, uh, promotions, and anything else you want to integrate into smart solution to bring together into reports. Then Blue Sky is the user interface that pushes reports out um, as well as alerts. It pushes it out to the end users to show them things like out of stocks and the zero scans and shipments versus consumption or phantom inventory. It also allows power users to create ad hoc reports and it allows them to pull together data from multiple sources into a single report. This slide depicts the data dilemma that consumer goods companies face. Um, the data's there, you get it, 
you might even have the impression you're getting too much data. We hear that from companies a lot. Um, you might, uh, typically what we see happen is the analysts spend all sorts of time gathering and pulling together that information. So the issue is really having that data in a useful and reliable format. The data comes in from so many different sources and it's just impossible in most cases to get the full value out of it. Most companies are using it just to produce the reports they absolutely need. They just don't have the time to create new insights even through the data that's, that's there. Um, each one of these sources, as you can see, provide information and potentially their own reports, but analysts spend an average of 80 to 90 percent of their time gathering and pulling together data. Inevitably, there are discrepancies in the reports and analysts are then stuck spending more time trying to figure out where the numbers came from. So not only is this a very tedious task, but when people's numbers don't match, there's a lack of confidence in the data and rightfully so. But it wastes not only the analyst's time, but it also leads to a waste of time on management's part when they're forced to argue over whose data is right and, and could potentially, you know, who could potentially be making a costly or inaccurate decision. On top of that, since 90% of an analyst's time is spent gathering data, cleansing and integrating it, and justifying their reports. Um, this is time that keeps analysts away from actually getting to analyze the data and gain new insights. And this is why our enterprise solution offers companies a very fast ROI. What POS Mark does is it streamlines the cleansing and integration of all these various data sources and puts them into a common repository where the data is clean and reliable. It also it puts it in a format that's designed for easy reporting. So reports can be automated to send to users and power users who have an easy to, who have an easy to um, access database where they can do ad hoc querying. Um, the result is far more productivity both from the analyst position as well as more productive management meetings. In addition, you have more access to reliable information than you've ever had. And this data will help you know more about your business, provide more value to your management, um, help you understand your customers better, and provide really more insight to generate more profits for you. So the smart solution architecture. Um, it's a very open architecture. What happens is the database, on a nightly basis, if you think about everything on this slide as it appears right now, with just the different sources and the white line. Everything to the left of this white line are things we see at every customer. So, of course, all of our customers are getting data from a variety of retailers. They also have their own internal ERP applications that could contain uh, shipments and forecasts and promotions and vendor information. And those can be in different databases like SAP or Oracle or Microsoft. Um, in addition, all our customers are getting third-party data. They all get Nielsen and or IRI or NPD. They're also usually buying some specialty data like TD Link or Spectra, which is demographic information. Almost everybody's buying a lot of data out there. What our application does is on a nightly basis, it looks for new data that's arrived. So our Blue Sky Integration Studio, Biz, that's the integration engine that grabs the point of sale data and any other data source. It stages it in that green box there where we're cross-referencing information, we're aligning the different retail calendars, we're aligning the different hierarchies, we're um, matching your items with the retailer items and so forth, and then we're loading that into our POS Smart database. And a POS Smart database, again, is designed to uh, be easy to access and query putting from the end user's perspective. So, once the database is updated, any reports that were scheduled to run are, are run and then they're cached on the server so that when end users log in in the morning, all of their reports are ready and available to them. They're not requerying, they're not creating new reports, um, they're just simply accessing the reports. Now, up top you see the analyst over there. The analyst is a power user. They're using our Blue Sky Analytics application and they are creating and generating those reports and pushing them out to the end users. That uh, version of Blue Sky that they're using is a very powerful tool. It allows them to pull data together from multiple sources um, and it allows them to uh, generate views and push them out to users. The end users can then drag, drop, drill, sort, compare, do whatever they want using Blue Sky Analytics. But then the Trade Smart application, leveraging our smart architecture, allows us to add other data to that architecture. And that's where our Trade Smart application came from. 
but we often see companies integrate shipments, probably 90% of the time, if not more. Uh, we also integrate things like forecasts and budgets and, again, um, third-party data. And we, can, we even have the ability to integrate data coming from military stores, too. So to us, it doesn't matter what you want to integrate. Our Blue Sky Integration Studio supports all data sources, so we're able to integrate that. So underneath this first orange bar is the underlying architecture of our smart solution. And then on the front end, we've got our Blue Sky Suite. And our Blue Sky suite of tools is uh, basically various levels of um, power user tools for our reporting. So this Blue Sky Integration Studio, this is as technical as I'm going to get. If IT people wanted a demo on that, we do have separate demonstrations because this going through this tool is an easy hour-long demo. But in a nutshell, business users don't want to see underlying code and you know, underlying processes that are going on. But I will say, I like to point it out because it is the core difference between what we are doing and what other tools are doing. So there's point solutions out there that are providing Walmart reports, for example. So you might see that in a solution like a, a Shiloh or Vision Chain. You might also see um, point solutions for Target, like Solus. Solus provides reports just for Target. But again, they are pointing to that source and creating reports. Almost all of our customers have a ton of those kinds of uh, solutions out there, or tools. I'll call them tools. Our, our application is truly a solution because it incorporates an architecture. And the key part of that architecture is our Blue Sky Integration Studio. And what we're doing with our Blue Sky Integration Studio is we're designing um, the mapping between those outside sources and your internal master data. We're designing the transformation. So for example, um, these data providers all send data in different formats. Again, you could be buying Nielsen or IRI. You could be getting EDI files. You could be getting data directly from Walmart's retail link. Blue Sky Integration Studio transforms all those different data types into a common data type. Then we design the cleansing and validation routines, and we map everything from the retailers to your internal data so that you can actually do reporting off it, but it to support your internal requirements as well as the retailer requirements. So that's all done within our Blue Sky Integration Studio. We've also got our business rules um, applied within Blue Sky Integration Studio. So this is where we apply those. The information is presented back to our Blue Sky Analytics. Again, we'll be demoing this on Wednesday, but it allows it shows the favorite reports and it also shows alerts. Um, it allows you to drag and drop and drill. We've got a power user tool called Blue Sky Analytics. We've got a casual user tool called the Blue Sky Viewer. Again, they can still drag, drop, drill, sort, pull data into uh, PowerPoint, export to Excel, text, PDF, HTML, or XML. Um, but they don't have the ability to create new ad hoc queries. They can rerun the report, so maybe they get a weekly report, but they need to rerun it on Tuesday. They can do that, but they're not going out creating new ad hoc reports. We also have our dashboards, and we have our mobile application as well. We've got a component that's built right into Excel called our Blue Sky Excel Builder. And again, this is if you look up here, you can see that this is Excel, but we've got a plugin called Blue Sky. What's cool about this is you can, if you're in Blue Sky, our plugin, you can create a dashboard and you can create a report. You can create a report or a dashboard. It doesn't matter to us. You can create a multi-tab uh, report that incorporates a dashboard. The key is if you create that using our Blue Sky, and querying our database, then any time you want to recreate that report, you're not recreating it from scratch. You're simply clicking this Refresh Query button. So it makes a huge time difference for companies. And that's what our Blue Sky Excel Builder does. So for those people who still want to be using Excel, they can do so. So the other component is our Trade Smart application. And that leverages the smart solution architecture also. It leverages um, the automation, integration, and harmonization of various trade components required to accurately measure trade spend ROI. Our promotion automation analytics solution um, is a promotion, is a solution that actually allows you to monitor and manage promotions as they're, as they're actually going on. It brings together promotion plans, shipments, and consumption as it relates to trade, trade promotions. And the promotion plans 
maybe in Excel or they may be coming from applications like SAP, um, PPM or Demantra or even Siebel or Prescient. The ability to bring together plans with shipments and consumption it what, is what gives TradeSmart the ability to accurately measure ROI for both the manufacturer as well as the retailer. It offers the ability to not only accurately analyze the trade promotions, but it also lets you compare planning expectations across all retail segments. Users can understand whether promotions were properly executed along with retail compliance. TradeSmart provides a common repository for all historical promotions, enabling multi-year analysis and comparison of trade spend initiatives. And in addition, results from trade spend can be fed into other systems, such as planning, supply chain, merchandising, and so forth. So again, we're leveraging that hub because once we've got that data integrated and determined, we can also um, uh, push that back out to other data. So the challenge that occurs, the number one challenge I would say is time required to gather and analyze the data. There simply isn't enough time to bring that all that, to analyze all that data across the different retail segments. And this leads to a lack of coverage. So most companies we talk with take a very high level look at how promotions are performed and only have the bandwidth to look at a handful of stores, maybe two or three key retailers. Even coverage for a single retailer is never complete. Analyzing and covering all promotions across all retail segments simply doesn't happen without TradeSmart. And that's because of TradeSmart's ability to integrate data. So integrating and aligning data at, the, at a common level for planning data, shipments, and consumption is very complex. In most cases, it's very manual, very prone to human error. In addition, is really no consistency across the different retailers. And another uh, challenge is clean historical data. So you might have historical data for promotions, but do you have it for shipments, consumption, and plans, and do you have it integrated in a way that helps you really look at history? TradeSmart can look at shipment pallets and eaches also, for example. Um, consumption can leverage POS, syndicated data, and POS from retailer portals. We can also store trade plans from third-party applications. And TradeSpend provides really a truth database where clean data is harmonized and aligned for future insights with historical data. So the smart solution architecture leverages the smart, or the trade smart architecture leverages the smart solution architecture, and it brings data together from your trade planning along with shipments, consumption, master data, forecast, and cost of goods sold. In addition, it brings in your master data. It transforms all those sources into a common data type, aligns the data for internal reporting and retailer reporting, and presents you with reports that show you how your promotions are performing. In addition, you're able to create ad hoc queries and even compare promotions with historical promotions. So while syndicated data suppliers provide valuable data and insights into consumer behavior, it's only one of several sources required in order to understand true trade promotion ROI. The promotion with using only syndicated, or I should say the problem with using only syndicated data is that at best, it'll yield trade promotion ROI at retail, not at the manufacturer. And this is an example that we are going to cover on Wednesday. Um, I was going to try and cover it today, but we're running short on time. But we will be going over this um, on Wednesday. And basically, it just explains to us how inaccurate it is if you're just using syndicated data to do ROI and how truly inaccurate it is for um, both the retailers as well as the manufacturers. And this is a report that's an example of the type of information you would want to present in a joint business planning session with your retailers. So the second column shows promotions that were positive for the manufacturer. The fourth column shows promotions that were positive for the retailer. And the first column shows KPIs with up and down arrows. The up arrows indicate promotions that were successful for both the retailer as well as the manufacturer. So obviously these are promotions it's worth repeating, and this is the sort of report that would add a lot of value in JDPS. So our TradeSmart application also offers an optional component called PromoPro, and PromoPro offers event details like event start and end dates, products at, a, at the brand, sub-brand, or item level, store banners, and tactics. It basically lets you do things like group promoted product groups into events, to create a single event at the retailer. It lets you realign promoted product groups, uh, dates, and events with sales. Users can override base and incremental values by event when they need to. 
They can also allocate spend to units in order to not double count units sold, for example. So we're going to um, go into more detail again with that on Wednesday, but this is just a screenshot of Promo Pro, and it shows the workflow um, that we have to do all of those different alignments. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Karen. And I'd like to thank Janice. Uh, that was a great uh, walkthrough on where we're going with all this data. And we do invite you to join us next Wednesday, July 16th at 2 p.m. for a more in-depth deep dive into the smart solutions. Uh, you can register for those by going to our website and clicking on our events. You will also receive uh, a follow-up email with um, a registration as well. Um, in, this demo, in that demo, we will cover the, both POS Smart and Trade Smart, as well as Promo Pro baselines, explain why the shipments are needed in more detail, and go over some of the Trade Smart case studies. We'd like to thank you all for joining us today. We invite you to follow our Relational Solutions training blog by going to our website at relationalsolutions.com. We also suggest you join the Demand Signal Repository Institute on LinkedIn. You can also see more training videos on our Relational Solutions YouTube channel. We ask that you follow Relational Solutions and Janet on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook, and connect with us on LinkedIn. You are also free to contact us via phone and email. We thank you again for joining us and look forward to your participation next Wednesday.